Today we are starting a brand new series from a whole new continent and we've just arrived to California and what can be a better place to start exploring it than LA, right? That's why we are exploring a famous Griffith Park and its observatory today I want to take you along with us to show you and tell you everything you need to know when you are coming to this wonderful iconic place in LA We left our car at Greek theater parking lot, which as you can see is quite huge and there's quite a lot of empty spaces around me. The good thing is that it's free and from here we're planning to take a shuttle bus which takes you from this parking lot directly to the observatory for like 50 cents. The ride's supposed to be like seven minutes, so it's quite fast. The other option is to take your car up the hill and park it there for $10, but it's costly and also it can be congested there so therefore i think that's the best idea and another option how you can get up there is to hike up there which is like 30 minutes by the trail but as right now it's quite hot we decided to take a bus The bus takes you through the Griffith Park all the way up and you get off literally in front of the Griffith Observatory. This place started as one man's vision for inspiring people through astronomy and has become the most visited public observatory in the world. Mr. Griffith left money in his will in 1919 to build this observatory. Leading architects and astronomers guided design and construction and the Griffith Observatory Observatory opened 15 years later in May 1935. Visiting the Griffith Observatory is completely free, however there are some shows for which you can buy a ticket for a few dollars. The building is full of immersive experience of becoming a science astronomy observer. No wonder the Griffith Observatory holds the record for the most visited observatory in the world. The Griffith Observatory is open from Tuesday to Sunday and besides the exhibitions there are multiple cool live presentations throughout the day, inside and outside as well. Like for example the Tesla coil case or so-called local noon spotting. And so the whole point of this exhibit is to monument the time of local noon. Now what's local noon to begin with? Now you know in old westerns they have the high noon duels, right? That's when the sun is at the highest point in the sky and it's so each person in the duel has the same disadvantage of the sun being in their eyes. So local noon is when the sun is in the highest point in the sky locally, right? And today that will occur at 12.55 and is currently 12.51. So in four minutes that will be our local noon. So we have this arc right here and if you can see it has a piece of metal running across the floor all the way through the rails and at night, if you follow it, it'll actually take you to the North Star. Because this is a meridian arc. What that means is it runs across our North to South Pole. So that way's North and that way's South. So on this foil right here, we don't look at it, but we have a lens on top. And what that does is it allows the sunlight, it focuses the sunlight, and in this case, onto the floor. Yeah, you can see it moved a little because uh, it's been almost two minutes sun is moving and so the piece of light is moving and it is entering the path of the arc. Yes, so once the light comes through the arc, once it lands on this here, we have rigged this with photoelectric sensors and what that does is it activates the star chart over here. So at local noon, 1255, the sun will land on the day of the year it is and it will activate which constellation the sun is in the sky currently. Once you enter the Griffith Observatory, you can learn about our solar system and the planets, explore the largest astronomical image ever produced, check out the real rocks from the moon, and also on a clear days you can see the live views of the sun, and on a clear nights you can even look through an optical telescope and watch the sky. 
along the way between strolling and exploring you can stop by and enjoy amazing views of LA, the Hollywood sign and beyond. You can even refresh yourself at a small cafe offering few snacks and drinks to enjoy on the terrace. This place is actually quite huge. I wasn't expecting this. It has like three stories and it also includes a cafe and a buffet. So we got ourselves a mac and cheese as a late lunch and it tastes really good. It's like self-service and um, you can pr pretty much get as much as you want and you pay per weight. So it depends on you and how hungry you are. Mm. And yeah, not speaking about the view, you sit on the terrace and you don't know where to look first because there's Hollywood sign and the downtown of LA and in the backdrop even the ocean. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm. So cheesy. Yum. The Griffith Park is full of nature trails. Just be sure to be careful about the rattlesnakes and always bring some water with you. But otherwise there are plenty of options to explore this beautiful area. We waited a while, but the sunset from this place is really amazing. Yeah, I agree totally. And you can easily spend half day or even a day over here at Griffith Observatory. And it's such a cool place. I'm honestly speechless. I wasn't prepared for this. I thought it's, you know, just an observatory. I wasn't really thinking about it, but yeah the exhibitions we showed you and all the installations around and also like the whole park area is super cool and there is so much to do and see yeah. we also waited here to look through this telescope which is also permanently installed here and visitors can look through it after 7 pm don't expect any large craters because once you look through the viewfinder you just see a very tiny star over there but it's still a cool experience to have and and much more if you know that this telescope is over 90 years old and it's the oldest one in the world and it also holds a record of a number of visitors and viewers who saw the sky. Oh yes, yeah, since opening in 1935, over 9 million people have put an eye on Griffith Observatory's 12-inch size telescope, which is more than any other telescope in the world. Thank you so much guys for joining us here exploring the Griffith Park in LA, California and hope you will love all the other places we are gonna take you in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned and see you next week. <laughs>